Hello and welcome to another edition of Cell Reviews. It is your boy T D T Cell and I am here to review Damn the album, Kendrick Lamar's album that has uh won a Pulitzer Prize, which is pretty much the first for any hip hop album to win it and he's he just won it. It shocked me when I when, when I um when I heard the news but it's it's, it's groundbreaking. Um so I'm just I'm just gonna dive right in. The way that I review and rate my albums is uh, by local content um, then it's the story well first story then local content um, then it's the uh, the feel of the album you know how it flows the style is being done and also the instrumentation now I give this guys uh, I give these uh, categories a point system it's eight maximum of eight points can be scored for the story maximum of seven for the local content maximum of Five for the feel, and this is built split between flow and style, so it's be 2.5 each. Likewise, with local content as well, that will be 3.5 each, as that split between skill and content itself. Um, and and also the instrumentation that's out of five. The album Kendrick did not leave much clues to um, to what he was thinking or what he was going for. He just it's it's as if he really wanted the the, the, the listener to just feel something you know to just um listen over and over and over again uh, which is again it's artistry i guess it's pulled that off well um but the only clue that i got from him was the fact that he said in, in, in an interview with big boy um that you know the album could have been like you know the story could have been a dream <clears throat> it could have all be all been a dream you know and um, because of the rewinding duckworth now when he said that, I took that with a pinch of salt, actually, and um, even though it didn't really give much, much off anyway, because it still could have, but I went with that premise, and, you know, um, I, I examined the intro and, all, um, you know, intro blood, as well as um, Duckworth, I put them together, like, you know, you start off in a park, um, you know, taking a walk in a park, and then it end, you know, on Duckworth again, it, it, it ended um, with him saying, so I took a walk at a park today, so... It didn't. It did let you think it was all about thought, but my opinion on the story, I personally thought this is my interpretation. I personally thought it was, um, yeah, someone walking down the park, someone having a moment, someone just having a realization, a coming, a sudden realization. Sudden. I say sudden because the album, just in in the entire album, the story was it. It, it began with DNA, you know, with the in terms of Kendrick Lamar with the fact that he remembered the newspaper clip you know the news clipping where where they were criticizing his um, song All Right where it says and he shot the purple he did for show and you know and from that he just went to DNA reactive uh, that, that was a reactive track yeah reactive track again and element all of them reactive tracks reacting to something um, that's bothering Kendrick obviously in element I think it was bothered by the state of the game and um, him helping out other artists and he's not getting the props he deserves um, which is I think it's quite rightly because a lot of, a lot of time Kendrick is often 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 dubbed as overrated um, he's often dubbed that he hasn't done enough to be called one of the greats which I, I believe he has so that was the reaction you know that was um, that was how I took, I, I took that Track same thing as DNA. He was reacting to the to the entire newspaper. It's like I've got more than you. I've got I got in in my DNA. I, and you know, just got he's got a lot to show. He's got a lot about him. It's more than 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 you know than a guy to be shut down down the street or to be marginalized or you know the, the, these are the message. And you know in um in ya um it, it goes into a standpoint on his faith, on his political views. He was very very strong and reactive to that. So, Phil then came on. This is where I was thrown off a lot. When Phil um, came into play, and the way that obviously the transition was smooth, I like that. Um, but it really threw me off, especially when he said, Pray for me. He was saying he, he's got these people depending on him, got these people depending on him. Um, and then all of a sudden, fuck. It's like, and, and I'm pretty sure that every Kendrick fan, not, not just a fan, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a fan, but not just. Every listener was even like, Kendrick, what the hell is going on with you? Well, why did you just switch up like that? You know, fuck your man. I I I made for impulses like you know. He just switched up the flow with everything, and at that point I was like, 
this guy is not right. He saw something. He he is going down a inspiring path, and you know from there just questioning loyalty. Uh, from like you know the album was taking a toll. Um, it was taking like a turn. It was different. Everything like you know from XFX to Fear. It's as if he was um, going down a path that he, he he didn't understand himself, and he got that sudden realization from you know in the track God, and um, I think um, it's like this will God feel like in that way, kind of him bring himself back to reality sort of thing, kind of getting grips into this the story overall. I personally think it was literally someone who has discovered something that's rocked him. I think fear was. The epitome of this because um um because in XSX the story think, in there it was just mainly he doesn't like the way America is going and he's wondering why people are suffering it, it can be over transition to fear he was like why are we suffering why are we suffering and then all of a sudden it's you know he's letting us know that that his cousin Carl Carl Duckworth was the reason why you know he was um he caught a some kind of answer that obviously brought oh yes this is what God feel like you know like you know like that brought it that that answer to him and then all of a sudden he just changed and then and then he took a different view from then on so he went from a depressive kind of borderline suicidal <laughs> um, person that is irrational like you know he was really all over the place until fear I think from fear onwards it was a complete turning point so like I said, yeah, I think the story is just about a kid who um, um, who has discovered something that really ro rocked this world, and it, uh, I, I think that that discovery was in um, was in fear when when he when he was like oh, um, when he was being told it was and um, that they're going through this because of their their children are pleasurable. I think I think him him hearing this is what he was trying to process. It was like it was like what's going on, and this is what. This is probably what prompted that walk in the park. You know, it really it took a different light. The way he structured the album, the way he done everything, I think he was just trying to tell us that, and he was trying to tell us how he how he has processed the, the entire message that he received that day, and that um, he was trying to say that that message was very was um, very important to him in, in consideration to um, to the entire thing, to the, to the entire spectrum of what he was going through previously. <clears throat> Now I gave it a 7.4 for the story. Yeah, I think in SSX the lyrical um the delivery in that was amazing. Um it was literally I, I, I could not believe it because uh, the way it started off was was talking about America, you know, like you know, so you got the context, you got what he was talking about, and then all of a sudden he talks about Johnny. And um Johnny I'm guessing is an African American child who is growing up in the neighborhood of Kendrick of um they say neighborhood of Kendrick, you know, Compton. Um, and this this child wants to be you know he wants to be a rapper like like his big cousin he wants to be a, wants to be a rapper wants to play ball you know and he's just looking he's, he's pretty much looking at what a lot of kids today want to do and um, and you know all of a sudden he gets a call so I like this delivery I like this content because it doesn't it subtly touches um, it doesn't really I personally took the input in, in the interpretation of things have changed um they don't want to go to university no more they don't want to go to colleges no more they don't want to pursue an education they just want to pursue sports and music and all those things that can get you money real really quickly if you do it right and um you know and he leaves that up to us and i like the way he did that i like the way that he left it up to us to decide how we feel about that um because obviously I, I personally think that we all should have our, our ever education just in case, but that's me. But Kendrick didn't really say much and say, oh wow, he's, he where where the time changed. And I think that's that 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 was the beauty of that track, um, of that intro. Then he goes on to talk about getting a call and then this things you know, he switched it up really well. This switch up was amazing. Just um, it was emergency nine one one kind of style frantic it was like you got a call about some um about someone getting shot uh you know he, like the way he delivered this message he delivered it in a sense of if this was you anyone that's listening this was you and you 
basically got shot would you react the same way i'm doing because this is how i'm gonna react i'm gonna react like this i'm gonna react like that would you react that way why wouldn't you react that way it really invokes a lot of questions to the listener and when i heard this i was like yep 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 he's got it uh, bear in mind they all flowed all in one and then he just ends it with i'm on this rally i'll call you back again this flow again i like i like that transition so he done all of that to bring you here to the rally where he was talking about his, his political views the way he sees the country the way he he feels about it about where the country is going that was for you to listen because he made it he, he, this was the beautiful transition from here to the discovery of fear because here he was putting out his feelings on why things were going wrong he was still trying to figure out what was going on because i think the track was um Trump is in office. We have been been better off with Obama. We like like we would been better off with Obama, but would America still be ill? So he was still asking questions here in this track. And when he transitioned over, and then the answers in that track was was being obviously which he felt was it was the answers with the voicemail that was left over um, um, by his cousin, by by his cousin. So from here, I was like. The content here is amazing. The, um, in this track alone, I mean, there are other tracks that I can draw from element feel, feel with content was amazing there as well. Um, it's delivery second to none. Do you want, um, do you want His delivery was second to none. Uh, in, in all fairness, like I said, it was it's 6.7. Okay, the feel of the album. The um, in in all fairness, of the flow of the flow and style of the overall overall album, I wasn't in favor of the style. However, the flow it was really good. I, I felt the flow. The flow it took you every step of the way. You couldn't skip a track. I think the only, the only two tracks you could afford to skip without breaking the storyline would be humble and and love. I think you could really pretty much skip those two tracks, and you can still have a good idea of what's going on. But it didn't really add, like I said, it didn't really add to anything in the story. So, um, um, however, like I said, like the flow from blood to DNA, from yard to from yard to element, from element, especially element to feel. I think that was, I think that was a genius flow into that because um, imagine talking about about you know talking about why you're not getting recognized, what's going on, why am I not getting recognized, and then all of a sudden you go into your feelings. This is a human emotion. When you're not getting recognized, when you're not, when you're not really um, being seen for your works, when you're, when you're being unfairly judged, can I say, you will start thinking, um, conflicting thoughts and thinking, uh, okay, this person, did, why are you depending on me? Um, why is this person depending on me? I've, I've, I've got to worry about this, I've got to worry about that. And then I've got to worry about this critics, I've got to worry about all this. So he didn't just, on element, he focused on just the critics. Like he was just wondering about why he's not being appreciated. And then all of a sudden on feels, he was worried about everyone else. And when this all played in, you had the track. And this was feels and the transition from those two, that was amazing. I like that. Same thing as X, X to fear. Again, he thought he found the answers, then boom. So the story changed on his head and then transition to God is like, ah. Oh. So it made sense, like, you know, you, you had the, the story, like I said, the story could be great. Um, the story could be great. And I still think that the flow is to 2.5 overall. I, feel, I really rate that because if you scramble that, you will still somehow get um, the story. You will still, you wouldn't, if you were to scramble the flow, in my opinion, it, it would ruin the whole narrative. So that's why I thought the way he chose to do the transitions to, um, it really aided the story that he was going for. For the style, I didn't. The reason why I didn't like the style is because it was too societal for me. It, this is a, this is a story about a child about, about about not a child really. He's a grown man now, but um, it's a story about a about someone who's sudden realization. Where I think it really is a sudden realization. This realization, I don't think he should have taken the. I mean, the way he wrote it. I guess he was trying to really let, let you feel what he's going through, but it didn't have to be so damn suicidal. <laughs> it was so, it was so dark. It was such a dark album. Overall, I was like, I can understand why the album cover is so depressing.
it looks so depressing it looks like a depressing story i felt like whatever he discovered his sudden realization whatever it might have been he, he could have taken a more positive spin on it there could have been um because the way he transitioned to tra transition out to the end from god to talk with it was good i, I it was positive more like he was really i think he could have taken his view for the entire album but then again who would come back and listen so i guess you know him going through that that way he really encouraged you know people to listen and listen again but like i said i don't i didn't like the style i thought he could have done it in a different way um to still make make his his message more more a little bit a little bit up upbeat not so down because i was listening to this album and i was like why is it so depressing what is going on with this guy instrumentation i have to give it five out of five i really understand i really understood why he won the police surprise now because it was carefully orchestrated the way that they he really worked on the instruments on this one every track in this particular it just flowed with each other it just the keys were on point um the phrases everything was going on it was it was really like also it must be noted this is something i, I picked up in the um <laughs> there's something that i picked up in there in there as well when kid capri always does what happens on earth stays on earth and here we go like, you know those four servers it really added to the point of him really being in a dream world because you know in, imagine dreaming right you would something will happen out of the blue just completely out of nowhere you just see maybe a balloon fall out of the sky and hit your head or cake fall out of the sky and hit your head or something different you know and then you have Kid Capri's head, you know, in my, in my head, I, 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 I visualize this album. Kid Capri's head pops up, what happens on Earth, please, on Earth? And like, you know, like, and then I, and I'm like, Whoa, okay, what's going on here? Why are they saying that? It didn't really add or subtract, it just was there, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean anything, it doesn't add anything to the album. I probably does, I don't know why he put it in there. But, um, regardless, like, regardless. It kind of added to the narrative and i really believe the, the the instrumentation i think it was really i think it capri really inspired especially with xsx you know i think i think he really ins inspired the instrument the instrumentation in this i think he may have had an input in that um but overall it was carefully orchestrated especially the way that you feel i mean you really get into the album you really really are involved every step of the way he didn't leave you alone and that 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 was great instrumentation it wasn't about picking the hot bees it wasn't about picking um picking uh picking tracks out of random or just putting tracks out of random i think the way he lined up everything structured everything brought everything together i personally believe he that was work of gene so i gave that a five out of five um <sighs> The album's amazing. Would I recommend this? Of course I would. I would easily recommend this album too. I've listened to it at least 50, 20, 20, 30, 20 to 30 times. I've lost count. I've listened to this that much of a masterpiece. Um, comp um you know, I, 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 to be honest, I, compared to, to Pin for Wi-Fi, I still listen to that now and then. Um, I regard them more as classics, if I'm, um, in my opinion. So I save them for just one time I listen to it. I'm like, yes. I miss this but damn is so current to me it speaks to my current situation it speaks to the current climate i would definitely recommend it um so to add up the tally to add up the tally uh so that was so that was 7.4 me making it 7.4 added by 6.7 this is um 7.4 added by 6.7 this is 14.1 14.1 added by 4.2 this is 14.1 added 14.1 added by 4.2 which is 18.3 I think 18.3 and 18.3.5 is 23.5 oh sorry my, my bad 23.6 um so at this point 23.6 over 25 this is 94.4 but I've lowered it down because you round down when you're below five so yeah i rounded it down to 94 i think 94 out of 100 listen like um i read this album really highly especially for the story especially for the content lyrical content is really on, on the 
on the work and the instrument, instrumentation. Um, I mean, I don't think the instrumentation really impacted much of the rating, even if I gave it a zero on the instrumentation. The story in this album and, this, the, and, the, and the content in the album was really, really good. Nonetheless, it was a, I enjoyed this review. If you enjoyed it too, make sure you like and subscribe leave comments below or what it, on how you feel on, on, on the album what you thought about the album what you thought this review in fact how how would you rate my review um uh please be kind please be please be gentle don't be too hard on me um but yeah it was lovely uh, it was lovely to review this artwork and i hope to see you again on the next review have a good day bye